this is video 7.2. It looks like I was getting ahead of myself on the last video because what I did on the last video, I'm asking you to do again now. Draw a Venn diagram to show the relationship between relations and functions. Okay, so uh, what is it? Exactly, it's a subset. So this is functions. And this is relations. So in this case, for every x, there is only one y. In this case, those are going to be the x's that have two different y's. So um, on the previous video, we just looked at the set notation, how to tell the difference between functions and non-functions. Um, now we're going to look at the mapping diagrams and also some uh, graphs, right? And I suspect one of these three ways is going to make really good sense to you. As I say, I'm personally really fond of diagrams, but these mapping ones are pretty simple. All right, so a function is for every x. Only one y value. So one goes with five, the two matches with seven, and the three matches with seven. That's okay. That part doesn't matter because this two is only going to match with seven and three is only going to match with seven. That's okay. This one is really clear. Right? This is actually called a one-to-one -one function. You don't have to get into that, but look at how pretty it is, how it shows that the match is all nice. So this is cool. This is cool. Those are functions. If you look at this one, where's the x that has matches with two numbers? Yeah, you saw it right away. See? Look. There's the, this x, this input. Uh, if you even want to talk about domain, those with two different numbers, not a function. Now, if you look at this one, here we got the one goes with two. Good. So that's function. But the moment we see the four going with a five and a minus five, boom, not a function anymore. All it takes, boys and girls. All right. Oh, I guess I'm going to tell you that there's a test here. I have it written down at the bottom, but I'm going to teach it to you now. To know. Okay, let me back up. You could sit here and pick lots of points off these and make um, a set notation thing like there was in the previous page, but the truth is, all you got to do is draw a vertical line. I'm going to do it on this one first because it's easier to see. So if I draw a vertical line and I only hit my graph in one spot, then it is a function. So no matter where I draw these lines, I only hit my graph once, it's a function. Let me do a non-function so it's easier to see. So if you look here, where I draw over that circle, that gets messed up because essentially what that means, okay, so let's say this was at minus two, that means minus two is matching with this point and minus two is matching with that point. So it's not a function. Nope, 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 not a function, so we're good. So then, now that you know the vertical line test, and as I said, it's down at the bottom, I'll write it in there right away, it's easy. So if you hit once, it's a function. If you hit twice, uh, more than once. It's no longer a function. So no matter where I draw on this one, it's a little close, but there's an angle on those. If I draw vertical lines, I'm never going to hit the graph itself twice. And the same thing with this delightful little parabola down here. Okay, once, hit only once, it's a function. Boom, hit twice, not a function. Same thing here, I'm sorry, it's a little hard to see, but it's just a separate piece. Okay, so not a function, function. All right, I'm going right in the vertical line test here at the bottom. Okay, so.
So draw a vertical line through the graph. If it only uh, better make better crosses once. It's a function. If it crosses two or more times, it's not a function. Okay, so that is a vertical line test. Vertical line test is for any kind of thing that's already graphed. Trick, you could take these points and you could graph them. Right, if you, if you don't, okay, I just fess up. I'm not fond of these. So if I'm having a bad day, I will graph these and then I will see whether or not I can draw a line through them. Now, I'm just gonna flip back to the previous video. All right, see this? This is what happens if you plot a bunch of points. But if I do that, when I go to draw my vertical line, I'm only crossing one point at a time. I'm never hitting two points in a row. So this is a function. Thank you, Jelly Bean, for that agreement with my statement. All right, I'm going to see if I can convince her. And now, let's go lay down. Go lay down. Nope. No. Sorry. All right. So if I ignore, we'll see if she goes away. I'm going to do all my vertical line tests. All right. Here. The more I seem to do videos at home, the more you're seeing Jelly Bean on, on the videos. Bean. Hi. Right. Yeah. Look at, look, at, look at how sad this is. She wants me to go for a walk. We'll go right away. I think my work. Sorry. Let's go back. Okay, go lay down. All right, so I'm going to do my vertical line test on all these. So do, do, do. it doesn't matter how many of those I do, this is going to be a function. I'm never going to hit it twice. Now, let's look at this one. This is kind of a weird graph that I found. If I look over here, that part's a function because I'm only hitting one part of the graph. However, all it takes is one bit, like right there. So this is a relation, right? The moment it hits it twice, it's anywhere in there. You can't say, well, this part is a relation and this part is a function. No, the whole thing is a relation. It's thrown out. Okay. How about you guys pause the video and do the rest of the diagrams, the rest of the graphs? All right, so this is a parabola and it's a function. Okay, this one. Oh, we're going to do a lot of that in math 30. That's a cubic equation. But you know what? When I go to draw these, I'm only going to hit it once, and I'm sorry, that last one isn't, sorry, my dog just bit me, uh, isn't particularly straight, but this is a function. This one, boom, right there, makes a relation, not a function. Remember, relations are not functions. And the same thing with this lovely ellipse or oval. Cool. All right, so I prefer to no I prefer to do the diagrams first graphs easiest okay now let's look at the mapping diagrams well clearly this three is going to zero is matching with two he's mapping it okay so this is a relation because you get points Right? If you did these out as points, you get 3 and 0, 
you get three and two. And frankly, that's enough to know that it is just a relation. I never did this before, but you know what? You can have letters, you can have Roman numerals, you can have whatever you want. You can have peaches and cream and chickens and bananas, whatever you want. It doesn't always have to be numbers, but it's still, this is a lovely one-to-one -one setup. So that is a function. Now, if we look at this one, thank you. You can see X is going with, oh, let's do it here. X is going with three, I'm oh, sorry, five. And Y is going with five. And U is going with five. Now, I'm trying to trick you, but it's okay because each X is going with a Y. It's not like you have X going with five and then X going with seven. So this is a function too, which leaves us with just the set ones. The easiest way is to see if you have more than one X in there. Sorry, the same X twice. So I've got a one, a two, a three, and a five. No, that's a function. And I've got a seven and I've got a six. So that's a function. We're good. Yeah, let's see. I've got a three and a four and a negative three and a four and a Oh, right there. Right there. There's a part that messes it up. I've got three matching with four and three matching with minus four. That makes that a relation. All right. So now you know the difference between a function and a relation.